Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm your host Tyrano Senpai. Welcome to the third and final recording I will be doing today of Moe and Ninja Girls. Last time, Akari, Akari had won the competition at the Ninja Village by the by competing in the obstacle course and by showing off her waboos, her tatas, her bazooms, her jumblies. You get the idea. I could go on and on and on, but frankly, it's just going to make me and probably you uncomfortable. And then after that, we got a huge bombshell. Akari has now said that she's going to quit, quit the Ninja Scene Club. What the hell happened to me? I'm having a stroke or something. <sighs> so now we need to figure out why. And I have... Hi, and I know who it is, but the, the, the reason why is, I don't know. All right, let's go. Season 3, Chapter 7, Talking Her Out. You want to quit the Ninja Scene Club, but why? It was only moments ago that Akari had shocked us all. So shocking in this is this news that I can't help but raise my voice. Every student in the classroom turns to stare at me. After working so hard, getting all this joy, why quit now? Say something, tell me, I have a right to know. Calm yourself, Raijin. Why are you making such a scene? Enju. Enju grabs me by the arm. I take a couple deep breaths, then begin speaking to Akari again. Come on, Akari, you can tell me, can't you? Well, this isn't, this just isn't like you, Akari. To qu talk about quitting, without even discussing it with anyone. I thought this club meant something to you, like it does to me. I must agree with Raijin. Come on, Akari, you must have a good reason. Please tell us what it is. Hearing Enju's words finally brought the faintest of smiles to in Akari's face. Sorry, I can't. Not yet, anyway. What do you mean? I still need to figure some things out, and until I do, I don't think I can make you understand. Okay, then you can tell us after school at the club. We will be expecting you. After all... Everyone would be very concerned if you left, just left us without saying anything. I guess you're right. I'll be there. Just then the bell rings, meaning it is time for homeroom. Well, I'll see you then. Edge and I watch as Akari slowly shambles over to her own desk. I imagine that Akari does not truly want to quit, but there are reasons she cannot explain why she must. She's normally so headstrong, and yet she never thinks to ask for help with her problem, own problems. You really think Akari... You really know Akari well, don't you? I should. I've known her much longer than you. Whatever troubling her must be very serious. That must be why she told us of her decision to quit. In any case, she promised she would give us an explanation. All we can do is wait. I guess you got a point. But Akari, what could be making you act like this? Oh no, the sad piano music. We gather at the club room after school. All seven of us are here. Mrs. Yama, minus Yamabuki. We listen intently as Akari begins to speak. That day we went to the Ninja Village. I told my mom about it. I told her about how much fun we had at the Ninja Village in the Ninja Scene Club at school. Okay. But I'm, what? But I'm confused. But, but would she not be pleased to hear you were enjoying yourself? About that, after I told my mom, just started yelling at me. Why? She was all, what if you get hurt? No daughter of mine, stuff like that. I do remember hearing about mom, Akari's mom when we were trying to get members for the club. Oh yeah, back in season one. As I recall, you were forget, forbidden from joining any athletic clubs at school. Hmm. Could you, but could you really count the Ninja Sea Club as an athletic one? What nonsense, to be given the third degree just for joining a school club? When I first heard of her, I thought she sounded a little overprotective, but for it to come to this? But do you want to quit, Akari? Of course not, but my mom does want me to, so. So what? I'm not asking her. I'm asking you, Akari, if you want to quit. Then I can't argue with that. But if this choice wasn't yours... Then I'll do whatever it takes to keep you in this club. Rajin, thanks. Did you have any ideas of mine? This is just whatever it takes. That's all I need to know. You know, Kari, I've spoken with your mother before. 
I care about everyone in this club. I do, but I also care about my mom. That's why I... Akari trails off. She must be in a tough position, having to choose between her friends in the club and her own mom. But if you quit, I would be ever so sad, senpai. Such a delicate matter. I hope you have the solution, Inju. Hmm. Akari, why did you tell your mother about our club? Oh, you know, just that it's fun. Hmm. It could be that she has not been given a full account. Anju grows silent, deep in thought. What do you mean, Anju? What I mean is this. The suspicions her mother has about the Ninja Seeking Club might be due to misunderstanding. What kind of misunderstanding? I assume that Akari has only spoken of her rigorous training in the contest of the Ninja Village, not our daily activities. Both items are quite physically strenuous. Based only on those, she would only assume we are an athletic club. Oh, if only she knew. All we do is dally and chat. You really don't have to say that aloud, you know. Just as wrong. Sounds equally suspect. Therefore, I propose that we educate Akari's mother on precisely what it is we do. To do that, we must speak with her. Give her a proper explanation on this club. She is certain to see that no harm will befall her daughter then. Yes, that's a great idea. Alright, two Akari's house, everyone. Roll out. Alright, looks like we're actually going to be doing this. I Wait, does that mean we're actually going to meet Akari's mother? Oh no, a checkpoint. No! Why? Oh. Never mind. It's okay. We can go through. Yeah. Screw you. I'm out. I highly doubt her mother would welcome seven strangers into her home. Honestly, it would make her even more antsy. However, we should have a third party present for things to go smoothly. I, su I suggest it be myself and Raijin. Any objections? What? Why me? I'm staring at Enju, but I but can hardly help myself. Providing a sound and rational explanation is my strong suit, after all. True. Okay, but what do you need me for? Accountability. Our purpose is discussion of the manager, Akari. To seem respectable, we need the vice manager present. That vice manager is you, Raijin. Oh, okay. But wait, Akari is the manager. If she quits, does this mean I get promoted to manager? That is definitely something I want to avoid for many, many reasons. Still, you know I'm no good at explaining things, right? Not a problem. I'll be doing all the talking. You just need to sit there and look respectable. Whatever you do, avoid leaving a bad impression. Give no cause for concern. Appear reliable. Keep those in mind, and all will go as planned. I expect you can handle that? Yes, I'll be fine. Even I can do that. Hmph. Something wrong, Johnny? Nah, nothing major. I was just kind of hoping I could be there as the FES rep. You can cheer them on from the sidelines with me, the upperclassman rep. Mew gently rests her hand on John's shoulder. Don't worry, Kai. We'll take care of everything, I promise. I know you will. Thanks. Well then, shall we get going? Good luck, everyone. Failure, not an option. You don't need to remind me. Akari, Andrew, and I gather our things, then leave our seats. Well, we're off then. We walk through the shopping street. Arriving at Akari's house, it is tucked away in an old residential neighborhood. Well, it looks unique. It's a long way from the school. Does Akari always walk this far every day? I didn't know your mom was a florist. Yes, it's a flower shop. Hold on, I'll just go get my mom. With that, Akari disappears into the store. There are faint sounds of conversation from inside. Moments later, Akari's back. She says she wants us to wait until she can close the shop. Sorry. Alright. Ain't no problem with that. Does she run the store by herself? Yes, all by herself. Ever since my dad died when I was still little. Oh no, her father's dead! I see. Well then. I guess it's only the mother we need to worry about. After raising Akari all by herself, her mom must love her only daughter very much. It's not hard to imagine that is why she would be a little protective of Akari. But she should still let her daughter make her own choices. There is no excuse for that. When does she usually close the store? Around 6. Would you mind waiting in the room until then? I'll bring up some tea. You mean, I get to see your room, Akari? Well, yeah. What's the problem? No, no, nothing. Nothing at all. Being invited into a girl's room made me a little excited, that was all. Not that I would ever tell her this. We stepped to Akari's house and I tried to maintain my composure. 
Ooh, pretty. So this is your room. Oh, the challenge. Is that, was that the sheet of paper she submitted in episode one? This is the first, yes, it is the first time I'm in a female classmate's room. You can totally tell it's a girl's room. A guy would never decorate it like this. It's so cutesy. You're cute, okay? Kawaii desu. I think it even smells nicer in here. Why are you sniffing? Um, well, I was just checking for gas leaks, that's all. You're a terrible liar. Those lascivious intentions of yours are written all over your face. What? No, my intentions are sincere, honest. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll get the tea. You don't need to do that at all. I say to be polite. Akari is all smiles as she leaves her room. After she does, I gingerly take a seat. You seem tense, something wrong? Oh, shut up. In any case, stop darting your eyes around like that. It makes you look suspicious. What did I just tell you? Very well, just calm down. You need to look respectable. Otherwise, we will not be able to convince Akari's mother that her daughter should stay in this club. I know, I'll settle down. I'm back, here you go. What's wrong? Huh. We are just breezing through this. Akari returns with some teacups on a tray. She hands me one, but seems to notice I am out of sorts. Nothing, I am fine. If you say so, well, well what? Can you really convince her? Positive. That is precisely why Raijin and I came today, remember? Leave it to us. Okay, but, well... What's it say? She seems like a nice person. I saw your mom on the way in. Even from a distance, she seems like a nice person. But really? Thanks. <laughs> With her looks and kindness of heart, she reminds me of an older Akari. Right down to the smile. This is my first impression of Akari's mom. How do you know? We haven't even seen her yet. She seems like the last person who would fall flat out and ignore her daughters. Please. Maybe she has other reasons for wanting Akari to quit. Like what? I don't know. A ninja packed on her. A ninja picked on her while she, when she was younger. Something like that. Imagine when we're actually speaking to Akari's mother. Try to, to keep such pointless frivolities to yourself. Ahem, right. We need to be serious. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. She has to. Okay, then. Still, I am getting a little nervous. Have some tea. That'll settle your nerves. Alright, I will. Ow! Ha ha! I didn't notice how many... How bad my hands were trembling. It makes me drop my cup. Oh, no, you okay, Raijin? Akari, give me... Give him a towel. A rag, anything. Uh, okay, here. Akari produces white cloth, which he uses to wipe down my knees. An anxious Enju peers in. Are you alright, Raijin? No burns? No, I'm fine. Thank you, Akai. Sorry for messing up your room. No problem. None of it spilled onto the floor. All we need to do is wipe the table with this towel. Quizzically, Akari unfolds the cloth in her hand. It was no towel. It was... Okay. I'm gonna tap this. And if it says panties... Akari, is, is that your under... What? I read your eyes, Raijin. Yep. It was panties. She wiped my knees with pan with her panties. Why? Eep! It was just one thing after another. In no time at all, I hear footsteps approaching from the hallway. Oh, wow! Akari's mother actually looks very beautiful. Wow. She, she is the spitting image. Akari is the spitting image of her. Just give her longer hair. And it's an exact look-alike. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Is something wrong, Akari? Why are you blushing so? Oh, no, no, nothing. Well, if you say so. Oh, Andrew, long time to see. Pleasure to meet you again, ma'am. Then you must be Raijin, right? Um, yes. I'm Raijin Dagon. Nice to meet. Wait, how do you know who I am? How can I not? You're all my Akari ever talks about. M Mom! Oh, I'm sorry. Should I have not said it like that? Stop it, Mom. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> oh, fine. She might not be much, but do take good care of her, won't you? Sh sure. Is she trying to hook me up with her daughter? Really? So, you'll hook your daughter up with a person you just met, but you won't let her continue a club? What? <laughs> That's kind of silly when you think about it. It doesn't take long to realize that Akari's mom is nice, if a little lacking in terms of fact. Even Akari seems sharp wit sharper-witted next to her. 
I told you we need to talk about serious stuff today. Just listen. That's all you need to do. Right, I completely forgotten. Akari's mom takes the seat across from us. Her expression soon turns to a serious one. Oh, God, she is serious. <clears throat> so what brings you here? Are you two tying the knot? No! That's not it at all! She actually... Oh, God, she really is trying to hook <laughs> me up. Not that I complain, though. You're right. You two are still a bit young for that. Are you going steady, then? No! We came here to talk about the school club. If I let her keep talking, we'll never get anywhere. By hook or by crook, I'll have to make sure this conversation stays on topic. The school club? This wouldn't have something to do with that ninja village, would it? Yes, it does. Akari, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want you in any risky clubs. Our club isn't risky at all. Quite the opposite of that. Andrew and I came here to today to convince you of that. That's right, Mom, so just listen. I glance over to Andrew. She takes the hint and begins to talk. Let me begin. Andrew, you're not part of that nimble seesaw club, too, are you? <laughs> nimble seesaw! <laughs> I assume you mean the ninja seeking club, in which case I am. All right. In any case, with that, Andrew begins to explain. It is simply flawless. One after another, she presents her points. They flow seamlessly, leaving Kara's mom with no opportunities to argue. Thus, our activities can be summarized as the study of ninjas, their history, and their activities. Our trip to the ninja village was a, but a part of such studies. This club is not one which takes needless, heedless risks. I see. The Kari's mom closes her eyes to process all this. I just hope we convinced her that Akari could stay. What about the shurikens? Um, could you explain? Throwing stars, do you use them? Well, well, yes, in some of our activities we have. Were they the metal kind? Yes, they were made of steel, but they were blunt. Was an adult present during all the times? Beg pardon? Was the teacher in charge of your club present when your club went to the ninja village? Ah, uh, well, for our club, they are just a name on the form, and... In other words, your club is a group of unsupervised minors. Uh-oh. I think she's found flaws in the argument. That's not good. I, I suppose you could put it that way, but... Oh, I understand, I do. It's not like I'm blaming you, Andrew. But you kids are throwing around big lumps of metal. That's not exactly what I call safe. What's next, explosives? But I'm an adult to make sure the worst doesn't happen. Well, who knows? Akari's mom doesn't have a point. Not even Enju can argue with that. No matter how you cut it, all, we are all students. Any parent would have the right to be concerned. Besides, we can hardly tell her that real ninjas are there to make sure everything is okay. I'm not yelling at you, okay? I'm just saying there's certain precautions you have to take. Oh, would you look at that? Your tea's gone cold. Hold on, I'll bring on... I'll brew up a fresh batch. A car's mom says this. And then leaves the room. Well... Yeah. Right as she shut the door behind her, Andrew lets out a heavy sigh and slumps forward on the table. Sorry, I was so confident. So sure I could convince her. But I failed. Don't be so hard on yourself, Andrew. You did all that you could. My efforts are meaningless. If I could not change her mind. Like I said, you did your best. Akari's mom was just the one with the more convincing argument today. Angie Rajan, sorry for dragging you into this. No need to apologize. Not yet. I haven't been bested. I still have a chance. I have learned today that your mother is willing to listen to reason, Akari. If she was prone to hysterics, then I would never have made any headway. And if she is willing to lend an ear, then given enough time, I'm sure to convince her. Thanks, Angie. But I believe I'll, I've done all I can do today, unfortunately. Andrew bites her lower lip in frustration. To try and reach her, I place my hand on her shoulder. Don't worry about it. We've only just gotten started, haven't we? You said that. With enough time, you're sure you can convince her, right, Andrew? We just need to regroup and rethink our approach. Yes, you're right. Why? Why do this? Just for me, both of you. Huh? Andrew and I are both caught off guard by Akari's sudden question. We need you around. We all do. Do you even have to ask? We need you around. We all do. You sure? It feels like I'm just dragging you all into my personal problem. That doesn't matter. You were the biggest reason why everybody wanted to join the Ninja Seaton Club. Without you there, it would just wouldn't be the same. Everyone would miss you. Believe me, if it wasn't for you, then I wouldn't have never found any reason to join this club. I am a real ninja after all. Rajin, we all care about you. We're your friends. And friends help each other out, right? Right, thanks. So, what do you want to do? Should we stick around? <sighs> Last part. 
I think we should call it a day. We have curfew to keep. See you tomorrow, Kai. Wait, at least let me see you off. As the three of us step out of Akari's home, we run into the last person we would expect. Fancy running into you all while here. Mr. Kazuyu! Mr. Mr. Kuzuryu, what are you? Why are you here? The principal chocolate stand answers. <laughs> to buy some flowers, naturally. Why else would one pay the floors to visit? Really, but the shops are already closed. No matter. The Hanawa family is one with which I am well acquainted. Oh, are you two leaving already? As if on cue, Akari's mother shows up at the door with some flowers in hand. Um, yes. Thank you for having them, Mrs. Hanawa. I'm just going to see them off, okay, mom? Well, alright. Oh, hello, Mr. Kuzuryu. Why don't you, won't you come in? Certainly, Marty. I must apologize for always arriving so late. <laughs> what kind of owner would I be if I didn't make time for my best customer? I whisper a question into Akari's ear. The principal's friends with your mom? I guess so, but I didn't know about it either. Seriously? Heedless of us and our hushed conversation, Mr. Kuzuryu and Akari's mom make amicable small talk. Here you are. I do wish I had smaller, some smaller bills. But this is all I had with me today. It's no trouble. Hold on, let me get you your change. After Akari's mom ducks back to the store, the principal turns to look at us. You seem rather crestfallen. This visit was no mere social call, I gather. No, we just came here to play. We're not crestfallen or anything like that. If you insist, overcoming issues is part of the path of maturity. I suppose. Best of luck. Almost imperceptibly, imperceptibly Mr. Kazuya leans in. His next words are spoken so quietly I can hear... Yeah. We're struggling for resolution to ask your partner. They may have what you seek. My partner, what do you need? Before I can get a clean answer... <sighs> excuse me. Akari's mom interrupts. Sorry to keep it. Here's your change. No problem. No trouble at all. Thank you, Marty. Now, all of you, I hear that as of late. We have had a few... We have had a rash of muggings. Stay safe. Be sure to return before curfew. The principal says... Then leaves with his bouquet. May I ask you what Mr. Kazuyu told you? I don't know really like myself. My partner? Who could he be talking about? Yeah, who could he be talking about? Who's this mysterious partner? Next time on Moe Ninja Girls. Brought to you by little me and the always charming Rika. Which were, which did the last one actually, now that I remember. Hmm. The frowny face doesn't suit you, Rika dear. Something wrong? Also, and I'm shocked I need to remind you. But my eyes are up here. Nothing important. Just cursing gene genetics, inequity of physiques. Oh! She's jealous of her tits. Oh, I do wish you'd talk more sense. No matter, we can get on with the teaser. Rajan fails. Akari's mom, unconvinced. Yeah, such a shame. At least we know she had a good reason to worry about her daughter. Still means problems. No Akari, no club. The Ninja Scene Club is good as finished. Too true. I adore Akari. She makes such a darling plaything. This club would be so dreary without her. Mr. Cruz too speaks in riddles. His haughty airs aren't fooling me. That wolf in sheep's clothing. Raijin, partner, who? What of Akari? Also forgetting something. Could it be? I have but I haven't could be, but I haven't a clue. Many mysteries. Chapter eight, welcome back. Welcome back, but who? We'll just have to wait and see now, won't we, sweetie? Oh, and before I forget, did you know Rika? No, no, what? Genetics don't make a difference in your bus size. It's all in your teen years. Your lifestyle, the stress you feel. Eh? Do you feel a shirt like I do? A growing girl needs to eat up, get her beauty sleep, and never worry. Didn't know. But not important. Couldn't care less. Really. Yeah, the the lie in your face says it all. How long has this been recording getting in? Oh, it's been 24 minutes. It actually felt shorter than that for some reason. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. And, well... Hmm, I'm actually debating. Should I continue with one more? Because I know there's a premium that's going to be after this one. And I don't want to be spending all my jewels in one place until I get paid. But you know what I mean. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification button so you don't miss anything new. And until next time, this is Tyrano Senpai signing off. Alrighty then. Take care now. Bye-bye.